So here is the flux wheel which we just milled. This can be on the magnet joint. This is the place for the bearing. Uh, here, the bearing will be with us to our size or accuracy. So it's just sitting in place. Now, uh, this is side so we can bring out our shaft. Now it's time to install these magnets. I have these small magnets laying around. Uh, but in future experiments we will be doing with larger ones. So we will see how to put that in. So this is simply mounting in the slot just like this. So it's perfectly fitted and uh, faced with the top. Well, unfortunately, uh, I dropped it and it broke from one side. Well, that won't be a problem because we are going to apply super glue to it and uh, that will do the job. So now we are filing this a little bit. Make sure that in the polarity, which you have, you have opposite tracking. On one side, we have uh, north, and the next to it, we have south. So that's how we have placed these magnets. This way, we can generate a sinusoidal wave, a clean wave. These magnets, my pass, and they are not uh, made on tight tolerances. So. In the kuch variation hai, very slight variation, not very big. But uh, this variation, ki se, some of them are more snuggish. Uh, it's good uh, if you have a snug fitting, so they won't come apart when it spins. So all together we have six pole pairs, and we are going to create six cycles of electricity every revolution. So we are almost there. Now we are filling the last side of the Instagram magnets just to add strength to our permanent magnets. Single magnets have so much strength in single magnets so they won't be able to induce EMF in the coils. So I decided to uh, double them in every slot. <laughs> magnets but I will advise you to use more specific shaped arc shaped magnets for this experiment because that will give you more area and much more flux density and flux change this part is almost done and the next part we are going to finish is stator and that is based on copper coiling and we are going to build a lot of coils. 